I have a ghost story from Hedrick Hall, which at the uh, time that I entered Catawba in 1964 was a residence hall for men. And it was always reputed to be haunted, but I never really saw anything or heard anything that would lead me to believe that it was until one Saturday night, I think during the fall, when a friend of mine, Bob Landrum, class of 68, and I were stuck in the dorm with no dates, nothing to go to. We just found ourselves stuck there and the dorm was completely empty because everyone else was out uh, on dates or at games or whatever. So we were listening to records in my room, room 215 Hedrick Hall, which is now an office, and we heard noises coming from the TV room, which was adjacent to room 215. And we walked over and looked and there was no one in there and the TV wasn't on. And there was still no one in the dorm, so we went back to our room and continued to hear little noises coming from the TV room. And we walked back over another time and the only thing different we noticed was that there were some Coke cups, wax paper Coke cups that appeared to be turned over on the floor that weren't that way the other times we checked. But we weren't sure of that. So we went back into my room and continued to hear noises coming from the TV room. So this time we sneaked over to the TV room and peered around the corner through the door so that we could possibly catch whatever this was making these noises. And it was quite spooky at that time. We were a little bit uh, 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 intimidated by whatever this was that was making noise. And we stood there, and all of a sudden, on the floor, we saw a wax paper Coke cup begin to totter and turn in little circles and turn over all by itself with no one around it anywhere. And this was quite spooky. And it spilled a mixture of melted ice and gooey Coke out onto the floor. So I walked over and picked up the Coke cup and looked inside. And there I found a four inch long cockroach. And that was the ghost of Hedrick Hall for that night. And he had a little uh, feeding operation there. He would crawl up into these Coke cups and walk around in them until he could get them to turn over and spill out and then he would drink the gooey mixture. So he was large and well off. And that was the ghost story of Hedrick Hall.